The first thing is to zero the protractor. It says to put this scale. This scale goes to the top, so I'm just going to rotate this part all the way up. Yep. So put that scale to the top, and we're going to put just, the zero. just that zero, so that's also to the top. We're going to lock those together with this lock. Okay. So now they're locked together, okay? This frame ring is loose. Okay. Its blade angle is the angle between the plane of rotation and the flat side of the blade. Okay. This is parallel to that, so we have to zero the protractor. And we're going to do that by putting this edge on the uh, on a surface that is parallel with the plane of rotation which is the disc the propeller blade forms when it spins okay so I'm gonna hold this spirit level is level uh -huh. and I'm going to adjust this until this is also level and this one is Lock. This is locked because these two zeros are lined up. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to lock the frame so it can't rotate because that's my zero. Okay. So the frame is locked. This is zero. This bubble is zero. And this bubble is zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to unlock. So the center ring can move, okay? And then, since this is referenced to my plane, I can't rotate this anymore. Okay. Use this to zero it, so I can't rotate this around because my reference has to stay with the plane of rotation. So I have you to measure by the display. So then I'm going to put this right here. Now I'm going to rotate this. Until to till it zeroes. Both. That one's zero. Because that makes sure I am holding it this way okay. straight. Because it has to be straight both ways. And then I zero that. Mm -hmm. Both are zero. Okay. Now, you read. I read my angle. Now to read the prop protractor, we want to find out how far apart these two zeros are. And so we're going to read from that zero to that zero. So this zero, we've got 10 to here, 15, and then we've got, this is the 15 mark, this is the 16 mark, this is the 17 mark, and this is, is just past the 17 mark. So it's 17 degrees plus some small fraction. To get the fraction, since this zero is here and we're reading this way, we are going to read this vernier scale. It's the scale that's away from that zero. And we're going to look for lines that line up. These two lines don't quite line up. These two lines line up pretty good. 
These two lines don't quite line up. This one's farther off. The best two lines that line up are these two. So, so these are the two lines that line up the best, right there. These are tenths of degree. So this line is one-tenth, this line is two-tenths. So it's the two-tenths line that lines up. So this prop protractor, this is reads 17.2 degrees. And that's the blade angle on this protractor. 17.2 degrees. Going to the next one. The zero is off here. Can't see it, but we're going to read this way. Again, we are looking to find out where this zero falls on the scale. This is 20 degrees. 21 degrees, 22 degrees. It's not quite 22 degrees, so it's 21 degrees and some fraction. So we know this one is 22, uh, 21 degrees. And then I'm going to come over here and find reading this vernier scale, right there, those lines don't line up. Nothing lines up with that, so we keep going over here until we find two lines that line up. Those don't quite line up, but those line up pretty good. So these two lines these two lines line up pretty good. So this line lines up with this line. And that is the point 0.8 line. So point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8. So this protractor reads 21.8 degrees. This protractor, the zero is now over here, and so we're wanting to find where it is the, the protractor reads between these two zeros, so we're going to read this one instead of right to left like we were reading the other one. This time we're going to read this left to right. So we're reading this direction and this is the 15 mark. This is the 16 mark. This is the 17 mark and it's not quite, this does not quite reach the 17 mark. So this protractor is going to read 16 point something. And now we're going to read this side of the vernier since that is away from the zero. And we're finding the two lines that line up the closest. Those don't line up. Those don't line up. Those don't. Those don't. Those don't. Those don't. Those don't. Those don't. That one lines up pretty good. So I think those are the best two that line up. And that is the point, uh, this is, uh, that's point 0.8. So because this is point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, and that's the point 0.8 line. So this reads 16.8 degrees.
the next one. The zero is over there somewhere, so we're reading this this way. And this line, that zero, lines up with, well, this is 21, 22, that's 23. But that does not quite get to the 23 mark. So it's going to be 22 point something. So our blade angle on this one is 22 point, just short of 23. And now we're reading this vernier scale, since it's away from the zero on the inner scale. And we're trying to find the two of these lines that line up the closest. Those two don't line up. Those two don't. Those two don't. Nothing lines up there. That lines up pretty good. That lines up pretty good. That doesn't line up. That's a toss-up between the 8 and the 9 line. Uh, probably closer to the 8 line. So. This one is going to read 22 point 8 degrees. And for another one, this one we're reading from this zero to this zero. So this is 15, 16, 17, and it's just past 17. So this one is going to be reading 17 point, finding two of these that line up. Those don't line up. That line, it's well, I'm going to go with the 2. So this reads 17, 17.2 degrees.